2.5 horizontal asymptotes with analytic limits. So we're trying to find horizontal asymptotes, which mean what's happening as x goes to the left and x goes to the right, so that comes back to using limits. Functions can have one, two, or no horizontal asymptotes because to the left could be a horizontal asymptote, to the right could be a horizontal asymptote, one or the other, none. Can't have more than two though. So it says write the equation, not just a number, write the equation of all horizontal asymptotes of each function. So I went ahead and put my limit as x goes to the left and to the right, and then this builds on the last lesson. So in a polynomial like this, I want to pick the highest degree term. So I'm really just using the three x to the fourth, and I'm plugging in negative infinity. A negative number to the fourth power becomes positive times three is all positive. So a big number to the fourth times three is really just positive infinity. So that is not going to get me an asymptote. That means that as x goes to the left, y is going up. On um, the right side, do same thing where I'm going to plug in my 3 times infinity to the fourth. That is going to be positive and positive. So a number to the fourth times 3 is still going to go up. All you really need to know is that this is a polynomial and it follows that n behavior. This is an even function and it's a positive leading coefficient, so both ends are up. So you really should know ahead of time, hey, there's no horizontal asymptotes with polynomials. Ends either go up or they go down. All right, let's try one more. This is a rational function, but be careful because it has e. So let's find the limit as x goes to the left and to the right. So on the top, it just depends what I got going on here. If I were to plug in a negative number for x, negative times negative makes a positive. e to the positive infinity is going to be bigger or grow faster than this power. So I'm going to use this. Okay, on the bottom, obviously, 5x cubed is what I'm going to use. Okay, so then I'm going to plug in my infinity. I already said that that becomes positive. Negative number to the third power would be a negative. Okay, you've got to figure out is top or bottom bigger. This e to the power is going to be bigger, so it's top heavy. So that's going to go to positive or negative infinity. We don't care about that. They just want horizontal asymptotes, so that's going to be no horizontal asymptote from that one. So we'll just say it does not exist. Or I could think about this being negative divided by negative positive. It's going up. All right, the other one if I were to plug in infinity for the negative x, I'm going to get e to the negative infinity, which remember that really makes zero because you're taking e to a negative power, which makes it one over whatever and makes it zero. So I actually don't want to use that. I want to use the 3x cubed over the 5x cubed, plug in my infinity even though I really don't need to on this one because I can already see what's happening. I can see that everything's positive and these cancel and I get three fifths. You can't just put in three fifths because it asks for the equation. So it wants y equals three fifths. As x is getting bigger, my function is coming down something like that and making a horizontal asymptote at y equals that value. So that one only has one horizontal asymptote.